Welcome back everyone to our channel. In today's video, we are going to install Selenium on our Mac system. Okay, so I have my IntelliJ IDE open. So from here, I'm going to create a new project. So I'll select File, New, Project. We're still creating a Java project. I am using Java 1.8. And here I'm going to click Next, Next. So the name for my project I'll give, I'll name it Selenium Test. Test, and I'll click on finish. Okay. I'll keep this project in this window. So whenever my project will open, I know that this project will have an external libraries, which at this current point by default it's selected by Java 1.8. So it means that any time uh, for this project I can make uh, my Java coding. However, the goal right now is to do the automation. In, in order for me to do the automation, what I'll have to use, I'll have to use the Selenium libraries, which I don't have. So right now, what I will have to do, I will have to add my Selenium pro, uh, libraries for the project in which I'm going to use them. So the number one step, what we'll have to do, we will have to first download those Selenium libraries. So let's navigate to our uh, Google. And here I'm going to type download Selenium web driver. Right, one, right once we click on search, um, we are going to see this option. I'm going to select the first link, which will take me to the official Selenium website. All right, so once we land on our Selenium page, let's scroll down. So once you get to the Selenium web driver uh, language bindings, so what we'll see in here that Selenium can do automation using different programming language, which is C Sharp, Ruby, uh, Java. So in our course, we are using Selenium Java. However, when I'm going to look at the version which shows stable version for 4.1, which was released on November 23rd. This is the very, very new release. And for our uh, learning, we are going to use a a most stable version, which was the previous version of 4.1. In order for me to find that version, let's scroll down. And then here, once you see this part, previous releases, guys, we are going to see the clickable link. Let me click in here. So from the previous releases, this is all available releases that uh, Selenium had. So we will have to select a version of 3.141. Once you click on the plus sign, uh, options will expand. And from here, we will have to select Selenium Java 3.141. Once I click on the zip file, my uh, folder will start download so I can close this window. All right, so once download is completed, let's go ahead and open. So for now, by default, uh, my Selenium Java folder has been um, downloaded and saved inside my downloads folder. Now what I would like to do, I would like to create one folder in which I will be storing files that I will be using for my future automation. In our course, we will be downloading many, many other applications. So what I would like to get, I would like to get one common location where I'm going to store all of them. So let me go ahead and navigate to my home directory. So I'll open it in the new tab. So this way I can have them. Just to face. So from here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'll name it jars. All right. So now what I would like to do, I'm going to take my Selenium Java folder from my downloads and I'm going to drag it inside my jars folder. Okay. Now I have this jar, uh, jar files that are stored under my home directory inside this particular folder. So now my goal is right now to bring those jar files into my IntelliJ project. So let's go ahead to our IntelliJ. 
So in order for me to add those jar files, I will select file. I'll select the option project structure. So for this particular project, I am going to go under modules. And once you are on the dependencies tab, so make sure your dependencies tab is selected. So now for this particular project, I will have to add those jar files. In order for me to add those here on the bottom, we will see an option add. Let me click on plus, jars on directories. So in here, we will have to navigate to the location where I store all my jar files. I store them under my home directory inside my jars. Let me expand my Selenium Java. So from here, I'm going to see these two jar files. I will have to select them. You guys can hold the command key, click on open. So those jar files have been added. Now I will have to add few more. So let me click on plus jars or directories. I will have to navigate back to the same location where I have my jar files. I'll go to my home directory, jars. Now, once I'm inside my jars, I will see a folder that called lips. Let me go in there. Inside the lips folder, we will see a few additional jar files. So I will have to select all of them. And let me add them as well. All right. So once all these jar files have been added to our project, let me click on apply and let me click on OK. So once you like, once those jar files have been added from your external libraries, now what we can see that besides Java 1.8, I also have jar files for my Selenium. So it means now I can start my Selenium automation. So now as a part two of the, our installation, we will have to download some drivers. So Selenium can do automation of different browsers such as Chrome, Mozilla, um, Safari, uh, Microsoft Edge. In order for Selenium to be able to do that, we will have to download few files. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go back to our Selenium for our Selenium dev. So now what I'm going to do, I am on the same page of my downloads. Now I will have to scroll more. In here, we'll see the option for a supported browsers by Selenium. So I'll expand my uh, tab of browsers. In here, we are given a list of the browsers that Selenium can automate. For our course, for our learning purposes, we will have to install, download the files to do the automation on the Firefox and for Chrome, right? So click on, once you see the Firefox option, click on documentation. In here, we will have to select different Gecko releases. Okay, click on this option. And once we scroll down, once we scroll down, in here, we will have to select the option that are correct for our operating system. So for me, I'm using Mac, right? So I'll click on this option. So download it is completed, download is completed. Now let me go back, right? Let me click back again. So now what I would like to do, I would like to get an option for my Chrome. So click on documentation. In here, we will see the versions available. So now in here, we have to make sure, guys, that we download the version of Chrome driver that should be matching the version of our browser. Before that, let's check the version of my Chrome. I'm going to click on Chrome and I'm going to select about Google Chrome. So the current version of my Chrome, I have 94, right? 94. However, for my Chrome driver options available, I have 96 and 97, which means this current Chrome driver options are not compatible with my current Chrome browser. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to update my Chrome browser. So let me click on relaunch.
All right. So once my Chrome browser relaunched, let me check the version now. So what I got right now, I got a version 96. Once I have my version 96, I'm going back to my Chrome driver and I will have to select the version of Chrome driver 96. So it means every time the version of my browser will get updated, I will have to install a new version of Chrome driver. So my version of Chrome browser is 96. I'm going to go ahead and install the version of Chrome driver 96. Right. And here I'm using my Mac, right? So this option. All right. So now let's check that my files got downloaded. So in here, what I'm going to see, I'm going to see my Chrome driver executable file. And also we will have to extract our Gecko driver from this zip folder. So all you have to do, just double click on it. And now we have two executable files available for us. So now what we will have to do, we will have to bring these files into our project as well. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it in two steps. So first, let's go back to our IntelliJ. From here, I am going to select one folder. It's going to select directory and I'm just going, directory is just a folder, right? I'm going to name it drivers. So now what I will have to do, I would like to store these two executable files, which is Chrome driver and Gecko driver inside this particular folder. All right. So once folder is created, let me do a right click. I'm going to select the option for um, reveal in Finder. So this will open the location of my drivers folder, right? So now what I want to do, uh, files for my Chrome driver and Gecko driver from downloads, I would like to drag them and place them inside my drivers folder, right? So let me go ahead and open my downloads. So once my downloads are open, I'm going to select these two files and I'm going to drag them inside my drivers folder. Make sure you guys don't copy them. Make sure you do drag them. All right. Now let me close this. So make sure that these two files, they are executable files located inside my drivers folder. Close this. Now for, I'll select my project. I'll do right click, I'll select the option reload. Okay. So once you see your drivers and once you see your libraries under your project, it means you are successfully installed your Selenium web driver on your IntelliJ ID. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.